I really had to think before I would move. I'd be like, do you really need to move though? And I will let you guys in. There were some like unexpected issues that arose that I, I was It's your girl Fumi Lyo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to like this video. It helps other people to see the video and make sure to subscribe. We have awesome content on this channel. Today, I'm gonna to be telling you guys about my experience doing a seven day water fast for the second time. Yes, y'all, you heard it right, the second time. So the first time I did the seven day water fast, I was able to do it, I completed it. Um, and I was just like shocked. I was like, wow, you know, I can't believe that I did this. I, I was in shock, honestly. And this time around, I don't know. And so it's been since that first fast, it's been about six months now. And I've been like taking in more information, watching more videos, really getting more and more interested in like how all of this works, the body, fasting, uh, some nutrition stuff, you know, and I, I'm not gonna lie. I have been like, I remember my initial video after my fast, I was saying like how I didn't have cravings, how I wasn't like eating bad or anything like that. I did like start to, you know, eat bad and stuff and you know, really be treating myself heavy, you know? <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I just been very interested in everything and I was watching like, the interviews of people who done like 14 day fast, 21 day fast, like, you know, just a lot, just wild numbers. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, like, wow, this is, this is really something that people really do. And um, it seems that people do it cyclically. And I, I'd seen like, I don't know if it was Dr. Sebi's son or something like that. I don't know who, yeah, I think, I don't know, son, grandson, I don't know. It was on the Breakfast Club interview and he was talking about the way that he fasts. I was seeing so much information and I just wanted to do another detox again, but obviously I could have done that with just juices. I could have done that with, you know, anything else, but I also wanted like the health benefits of the fasting and just to, you know, discipline myself and just do it like, um, which is my reasoning this time. The first time I did it, it was more for health reasons. Like there were, you, you can watch the video, watch all my fasting videos. I have like a series <laughs> from the first time. I should probably make a playlist on it, but if you watch it, those videos, like it was like for health issues, but this time around it was more so to detox for a little bit. And I seen that other people do it. So I'm like, okay, it seems like this is would be safe for me to do. Although, like I said, um, in my other fasting video. I'm not a medical professional. Don't do, I'm not telling y'all to do anything that I do. Please don't consult a medical professional or your healthcare provider because I'm not licensed or nothing like that. I'm just sharing with you guys my experience is all, but I'm not telling you guys to do this at all, no. So this was more so for like detox discipline and like the health benefits and, and just to see whether I could do it again or whatever along with that. But those, those are like my main three reasons for why I did it again. I went into it and I will say that this was more, this overall fast was different. It was, I'm not gonna lie, this was different than the first one. This was very different than, not very different, but this one was different from the first one. And I will let you guys in, there were some like unexpected issues that arose that I, I wasn't prepared because I didn't deal with it the first time. So I told you guys a little bit about the complications I don't wanna say complications, but like things that happened the first time that was weird in the like day seven of the seven day fast in that video. But this one, it was like, I'll get to it. All right, so first off, the pros. <laughs> so the pros about it were, I didn't really feel hungry like that. I wasn't really feeling hungry like that. It was more so a mental thing. I would say that the second day I feel like was the worst um, for me. I feel like I was anticipating that third day because everybody's third day seems to be the worst, but I was anticipating that third day to be tough. The second day was more so worse for me. And then from there was just like mentally like, all right, let me just push past or whatever and try to see how this goes. But I actually got my menstrual cycle during the, you know, the fast and I was like, oh man, you know? Since it's here, I don't know what added layer that happens when you're fasting and you're on your cycle because you're losing blood. And I didn't want to become like iron deficient or anything like that. So it kind of made me rethink, hey, do I want to do this for that amount of days, for like seven days? So I had to now readjust and be like, okay, well, I'll just, you know, I 
I wanted to do it for seven days, but I'll, I'll see how it goes with my body because with everything, and I said that in my previous videos too, listen to your body, it's really, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. Listen to your body and you know, with everything that's happening in this world, like around this time, yeah, you really wanna be careful. I uh, don't wanna end up in the hospital. So, and I'm not, again, not giving medical advice, but I'm just saying me, I wanted to be careful and not end up in the hospital. So if I felt was feeling the type of way, it would just kind of be like, all right, I'm gonna head out, I'm, I'm done. And uh, another good reason that I was able to do this is because I was able to work from home. So I'm working from home due to pandemic and everything. So it gives me opportunity to work on the laptop from my bed and all that. But anyways, yeah, so I started a cycle and ironically enough, I was expecting like, so with the not eating at all, you know, the mood swings that I was expecting from that, in addition to now my cycle on top of it, I was expecting to be a wreck. And surprisingly, I was not. I, you know, it's just me <laughs> here. Like I have a roommate, but like, I'm just in my room. Um, but like even at work and stuff, like I wasn't, and when I talk on the phone to people, I wasn't, I was actually pretty calm. Like the only emotional, where I really got emotional was I watched The Brown Skin Girl by Beyonce and I started tearing up, but, probably would have done that anyways, okay? <laughs> so yeah, that was one thing that I noticed. So I don't feel like the cycle had like such a, an impact on it, or I don't know, maybe it did. Maybe it did because like I said, I didn't really feel like as a hun like as ment the mental hunger as much as the first time I fasted, I feel like. And if you guys want, I can make a video of comparing the two fasts. Um, but yeah, I feel like this one was more so like, just like, okay, I'm ready to get this over with. Like, let's just, you know, let let the days just go by, you know? Um, but yeah, I went through that and I heard actually afterwards about people, I guess like fibroids and stuff like coming out, different types of healing that occur with it. And I was just like, oh wow, like what? But I didn't experience none of that. I don't know if it's called fibroids or something. I don't want to say the wrong thing, but like different things, special, basically special things happening when people fast like during their cycle. So, but nothing, nothing like that happened for me. And it pretty much lasted throughout the, the duration because I was able to go the full seven days without breaking the water fast. Um, I will say that I had more energy than last time. I don't know why, it was very weird. Very weird, because I remember like there were certain days last time when I did it where I could barely make it down the street. You know what I mean? I just, you know, had to hold on to something or I couldn't really exert myself like that. But I don't know if it's because I definitely know I was drinking more water this time around. And on the third day, Third day was the day I actually went to the mall. That I feel like boosted my mood. It was good to get out and you know, seeing clothes and getting clothes that boosted my spirit. So maybe that could also attribute to it. But that day I got Essentia. I got two like small Essentia waters and Essentia, those are, they're ionized I believe, but I, they already have electrolytes inputted inside the water. That helps out too. Because I remember last time, part of the reason I was having just a little bit of, a little teensy little bit of you know hair and there problems it was because i wasn't getting any electrolytes i didn't put like salt in the water or whatever so i got my electrolytes this time on the third day and then on the sixth day i was able to like walk a little bit less than a mile forward and back to the store and i got more essential water for electrolytes and i was shocked i was expecting to have to call an uber a little bit because i just wanted to walk a little bit but i was expecting to have to call the uber but i was like oh no i'm i'm good I'm pretty good. And so that was a shock to me, but I was able to do it. Uh, there were times where I did feel weak though, like getting up out of bed, like I had to mentally prep myself. When I was sitting at my desk to get up, I had to mentally prep myself. Like I really had to think before I would move. I'd be like, do you really need to move though? You know, but <laughs> I'm for real. But when I would actually move and do stuff, like I had the energy to do it. But the mental, mentally knowing the energy that I would have to exert, I really had to think it through, like, is this worth it, you know? Um, <laughs> but yeah, and I, on that sixth day, I got 1.5, I got three 1.5 liter bottles of, um, what do you call it, uh, essential water, so getting the electrolytes in. And what I will say is that I don't know whether it's because like I forced myself to like drink a little bit more water during this uh, fast, but I, on the fifth day, I believe it was, I noticed have myself feeling like I was about to like throw up, like feeling something right here in my throat. And I'm like, what could I be throwing up when I haven't eaten in so many days? Like what, what's going on here? I couldn't understand it. I looked it up online and it said that like, 
I guess it could be like acid reflux or something like that. And they had different explanations for it. But um, yeah, so I was dealing with that the fifth day and the sixth day and the seventh day. And it's been, um, it's been a couple days. How many days has it been? It's been a couple days now. It's still fresh. It's not, it hasn't been up to a week, but it's been a couple days now. And I'm still feeling something in my throat. So I'm still feeling the acid reflux a little bit. So I guess that's what it is. You know, they're saying that because what I read online, again, don't quote me, don't believe me, do your own research. But what I read online that might be going on is that it was a lack of acid in the stomach. And so because of that, it like, a lack of, there's a lack of acid in the stomach. And then when I think, apparently when you think about food, your body creates like enzymes or something that, um, creates more acid or something like that expecting you to have food to come but if food doesn't come i don't know i will i'll either put articles in the description box or links to videos that talk about it but basically something happens as to where food the, the acid goes up past the esophageal sphincter and it like it ends up in your throat right here and then you could also like experience heartburn i wasn't really getting heartburn like that I, w I don't think I got heartburn though during the fast. Afterwards now, like I have experienced it a couple times. So I don't know whether this is about to wear off, but I didn't experience this at all the first time. So I'm very much like, um, what's happening here? You know, what's what's going on? Um, <laughs> but it hasn't been up to a week yet. So I'm guessing my body's still getting used to like eating food and like, I don't, I really don't know, but I've been, I've seen some stuff online that say like, oh, take like for acid reflux, do lemon water and apple cider vinegar. And then also I seen stuff like the same, put like baking soda and water, baking soda and water and drink that. But I'm gonna continue to try that out. And I'll, if you guys want, I'll keep you updated on that. Cause I'm like, bro, what is going on here? Like, why is this happening? I noticed that like also my eyes seem more clear. It's it's very weird but it's like it seemed like more open i don't know how to explain it but it's like i'm nearsighted so i have eye problems anyways but it just things seemed more clear i still couldn't see like you know far but things just seemed more clear and it led me to research like hey have people like cured been able to cure you know how holistic medicine stuff like that i said have people been able to cure um nearsightedness or eye problems with fasting and then i saw like different articles and things like that but I thought that was really interesting. I was like, wow, like just things, my eyes seem more open, things seem more clear. If, if you can relate, comment down below. But yeah, I definitely, I was like, oh wow. So another thing to note is that I didn't have any bowel movements and I didn't experience like the heart, like my heart wasn't like beating fast at all. I didn't experience that. So technically this was like a smoother fast other than like the what I think, I guess, comment down below if you think it's something else, is acid reflux. Other than that, no, this was like definitely a, a much, you know, a smoother fast than last time. Even the last time it wasn't bad, but this was a smoother fast for sure. My lips weren't as chopped as last time because I think I was, like I said, I kind of drank a little bit more water. Um, so I think that also helped in because the essential water on the sixth, seventh, the sixth and seventh day and a little bit on the third day, I feel like also giving me electrolytes, I feel like that might have also contributed too. And as far as sleeping goes, I normally not, yeah, I kind of normally just be staying up for some reason, so it's weird, so I don't know. But like when it was time to sleep, I was asleep. So I, I can't really gauge that because I don't normally sleep on time. I just be on my computer for no reason. But I will say though, on the seventh day, I just didn't sleep. Um, because I was, I was doing something and then I guess I just, I wasn't able, I was doing something for a while and then it was about to be time for me to work. So I guess I just didn't sleep. I don't know, but I did, I, that is something to know on the seventh day. I, I only slept for like an hour. Yeah. I basically slept for one hour that day. Um, but do I think it's attributed to the fast? It could be, I don't know, but I only slept for an hour, but I was fine. Like I had energy and everything. Like I was, I was good. I had a, obviously as much energy as you can have on a fast, but I was good, mentally good. And I, I read that that has something to do with like the body adapting, I guess, to the lack of food. I don't know. I've, I've been reading so much <laughs> about like 
reasons why certain things happen on fast, but I don't want to give you guys either, like, I don't want to say it to you guys in the wrong way or get, and accidentally give you guys wrong information, so I just won't say it, but it's, it's a lot of information there, and um, if you guys want like links to articles and stuff like that, uh, let me know, or just, or just look online, because again, you should really just, if you're very interested, consult a healthcare provider, or seek medical counsel, but I just be reading stuff and I'm like, oh wow, that's so interesting. Like, oh. Another reason I will say why I did it was there is like a mental like clarity, like a, a focus that you get, well, that I got when I fasted, but I also uh, seen videos and heard about other people getting it too. It's like this, this locked in. Cause remember when I told you guys on the last fast, how I was like locked into the preacher, like, Sometimes when you do work, you'll just be like right there. You'll really be able to focus. I found myself like not wanting to multitask as much. I just wanted to hone in on one thing and just really like just be right there. Um, I did notice that sometimes though, which is different from last fast, but I don't know if it's attributed to my period also being on during this fast, but sometimes I'd forget things. Like there's this song called Late Night by Lucky Day or Daye, however you say his name. And I couldn't remember the, his name I could have I was like what's his name what's his name you know so that did happen so I don't know that's something to know another thing that I should also say is my meal beforehand before I started the fat I wasn't eating good I wasn't eating good um I was not eating the best at all I had a hog and dog <laughs> hog and dogs you know the cookie dough dynamo it's a chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream a pint size and then I had um what else I have then I had uh, Mexican rice with grilled chicken, which is really good. But um, that just to let you know, that was like my last meal before the fast, because I think that's something y'all would want to know. And I weighed just because I hadn't been eating good, like those, the, the, that, I hadn't been eating good in general, like that week, or the, really the, those two weeks, two or three weeks, honestly. But those two days beforehand, I was eating heavy. So, that that day I weighed 162, but I do want to have you guys know though, don't think, I don't want y'all to think that, oh, with the fast, like you just gain all the weight back. That is not the case for me. If you guys see my starting weight, like just go watch that first, my first seven day fast. If you guys see my starting weight and my ending weight, I've never put on those pounds back. So the last video that I made, um, well, the video that seems to be getting some traction, um, talking about like the refeeding process when I tell you guys my weight there. So literally just two days where I think I was like 160 or 161 when I made that video. So literally just like two days before is where I gained that like the extra one or two pounds where I was like 162. But um, my lowest weight since completing my fast like about six months ago is, was, is 153. And that's like eating every day and you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe like taking a day off and be like, oh, I don't feel like eating today or something like that. But I'm, I'm eating, I'm eating every day. And that's 153 would be the weight. Uh, so yeah, so just so you know, so cause I feel like there's a lot of rhetoric about like, oh, well, you're just gonna gain it all back. No, it's, it's a choice though, because and I will also say the reason for me is I was also eating very, very bad before that first fast. I was eating very, very bad, so the weight on my body wasn't really meant for me. Like, it's, it, I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to be eating like that, and I was just like chronically just eating terrible. You know, it was, it was just awful. It was awful. You can go watch that video for more details, but that's why, for health reasons, I had to like, I had to quit. Um, <laughs> but yes, so just to let you know, I kept that weight off. I never gained it back. I never gained it back. And so, um, and my lowest weight from that fast, um, like from there, as time went on, you know, and as, like I said, it's six months later now, is, um, was 153. So, yeah. So I didn't necessarily, so the weight of, starting weight of 162, me, I, well, I should tell you guys, I ended, my ending weight was 151, 151.2, I believe. And that's cause again, I didn't sleep, so that also attributes, so maybe it would have been like 150 or something like that, but, I didn't sleep, so I think I think that adds up because I'm drinking water while I'm awake. I don't know. But yes, so that's just to show you guys that like, hey, it wasn't really like, oh, I just lost this additional weight. It was technically weight that I had already lost 
before I fasted, but I just added on more because I was just, I, like I said, I was eating bad. I hope I'm explaining it correctly. So it's not like, so I guess it, because if my lowest weight before was 153, then this 151 now is just like two pounds off. So that extra weight was just like, it's just extra weight. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. I might even edit this part out. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to say that it was like, it wasn't like, oh, this is just a brand new like weight for me. No, I was around this weight before I was eating really bad again. You know what I mean? So I don't, I hope I'm explaining it right. I'm sorry if I'm not, um, again, uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, but it wasn't really the weight thing. That's why I didn't even like, I didn't even take pictures of the scale or anything like last time or anything like that. It wasn't really about that really for me. Um, but obviously I'm alive. I say I wasn't happy for that too. You feel me? Cause definitely wanted to get back to like how I was before, but I didn't take pictures or nothing like that. Except I did take pictures of, which should be on the, the thumbnail. I did take pictures of like my stomach before and after. Cause I was very like, you can see in my stomach I was very like uh, bloated and it just like, it was just big. I had just, was it when I just ate or in the morning of the next day? I can't remember, but you can just, I think it was after I just ate. So you can see, or maybe in the morning, I don't know, I don't know. But you can see I'm bloated and stuff like that. And it also probably has to, is attributed to like my period coming as well. So, cause you see like, it's quite a difference in the before and the after. And that's not me sucking in in either of those photos. So, well, obviously not in the before, but I didn't even suck in in, in the after. If you, if I sucked in in the after photo, it would have been a tremendous difference, but not tremendous, but you know what I mean. I know I said, <laughs> I know I said, I didn't think that I would do this again and I did it. But then, you know, I started seeing like people, how people do it. And this is something that like, you know, people do every now and then. So I was like, okay, I should be fine to, to do it again. And of course I'll listen to my body and if I want to stop, I'll stop. You feel me? But, um, yeah, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you guys. Yeah. So that's that. And no, I will not be doing it again. I think two times in a year it's fine. That was last six months. So yeah. Cause when I filmed that video, it was, it had already been a minute. I, I don't know what time I told you guys in that video, but it had been some time since I had um, done the fast. So yeah, um, I did that in the beginning of the year. I've been this towards like the middle of the year. So I'm done um, doing something like big like this, but you know, it was, it was an interesting experience. Um, it wasn't like the, the first one though. The first one, the first one I feel like was like, that big, wow, like, ah, uh, I, you know, it was just like, oh my gosh, it was just a huge, it was just, the first one was just a huge experience. And the first one came with like a lot of blessings and stuff like that. Cause I will say that one thing that I messed up with in this one is that I didn't like, there wasn't a prayer focus or anything like that. I wasn't like praying often. So I think I should have, I should have definitely done that and like been watching more sermons. But the first one I did that more and it was like, there's a lot of blessings, like good, a lot of good things are happening during that first one. This one was more so just like a chill, chill fast. But um, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the next thing that I will do is probably like just completely like social media, including YouTube, just completely abstain from that versus like food or, or um, something like that. Yeah. And just exercise discipline that way because i think i i know that will be tough that will be very hard for me In if we include youtube youtube and all social media that will be tough that will be tough so i think that's the next thing that i'll do and i'll try to do it for seven days Ugh. i don't know we'll see how it goes <laughs> we'll see how it goes and and when i might do that one but um but yes you guys thank you so much for watching comment down below if you to share your experiences or your thoughts or anything like that and i will see you guys next time bye